I was just talking to some of my elders, right? For whom, according to the Webster's Dictionary, is defined as of, of earlier birth or greater age. And they was telling me about their peers. Now, let's look up peers. And see, you know, this is what, you know, I'm saying I wrote a book. And I said, it was a journey to a book of thoughts on a journey to my dream. And in the book, I, I, it was, you know, I was in my house with no lights and no water. And the sheriff was talking about killing me and my friends wouldn't hear me. And, I, you know, they were acting like I was crazy. And then, you know, it came to me this thought. It said, how can a slave teach you how to be free when all they ever been is a slave? So when I was talking to these elders and they were talking about their peers, right, who are defined as one that is equal, that is of equal standing with another, I realized that they didn't see themselves as peers. And I was looking at them as elders. See what I'm saying? As of earlier birth or greater age. But does that mean you have a greater understanding of the times because you are of, of greater age if you're not of a greater understanding. So what I want to say is this, right? When I was thinking about this on the way home and I was thinking about how to articulate this, right? It said this, how about if an elder, right? Now this is, now this is another definition of it, of or relating to a more advanced time of life, right? Was a slave, like last night, on February 5th in 2023. Now think about this, a slave was a slave. And then today, which is February 6th in 2023, the slave was freed, but a baby was born. See, on February 6th in 2023, which is today, what would be, who would be the elder in freedom? Would it be the elder who was a slave last night? Or would, be, would it be the child who was born this morning and was never a slave? See, so how would the person who was a slave last night teach that kid about the freedom they was born into this morning when they was a slave last night. So now think about it. What is, what is of or relating to an earlier time, right? If you was a slave earlier in your time, so when you was that kid, you was born property of someone else in a state within the union. But because of your generation's protest, right, then we was born peers in freedom, but not in understanding because our elders were slaves. See, and that's what I'm trying to get my generation to understand. See, I am your elder. I'm not your friend. You see what I'm saying? But because I have to respect the conditions I'm in and because I have to look at the sickness of my elders and also my peers. See, that's why I respect you all, but I'm also saying I deserve respect. See, don't put us all in the same um, a bucket, a bag, or whatever you want to call it, because I'm supposed to be judged on my works. See, I'm not supposed to be judged on your opinion of my peers. Now, listen, this is especially one being belonging to the same uh, social, uh, social, uh, social terry group, especially based on age grade or statute or status right so i'm i'm saying yes 
I am of, of the age of my peers. I may even be of the grade of my peers, but I'm not of the status of my peers. See, now this is a position or rank in relation to others. Because when I went into the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, I separated myself from the group See, my peers, see, from that grade with, let's say, a level of study in an elementary, middle, or secondary school that is completed by a student during one year. See, so I graduated from a slave. See, that grade, I had, I went to the next level. You see what I'm saying? Now, when you go to the next level of understanding, then who have a mental grasp of the next level when you become as wise as a serpent? So if the serpent was the teacher, once you defeat the teacher, how do you think I'm the student? But see, that's what I'm saying about an elder who don't believe he equal to his age group. See, he's sitting there, his man, they'll change the laws. I'm saying, yeah, man, when you was a kid, they probably would change the laws. But when you was a kid, they changed the laws. <laughs> See what I'm saying? But now, if you are the elder and you are a, um, a child, see, you are infant in your freedom, See if your understanding is is in its infancy. Now, let early childhood, right, a beginning or early period of existence. So, if you are, if you was a slave last night, and then this morning you became free, your freedom is an infant. It you was pregnant with it. See, so okay, say. They negotiating your freedom, right? And so if they negotiating your freedom and you get the freedom, once you get the freedom, right? But the, the night that they were negotiating, which is defined as to confer with another so as to arrive at the settlement of some matter. So... The matter is your freedom. So you had nothing to do with it. You wasn't sitting at the table on January, I mean, on December 31st in 1862, because on January 1st, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States, made history when he had freed our people through the Emancipation Proclamation. So right there is when America did what God told Pharaoh to do. So if you're looking at it from a biblical lens, that's when Mr. Frederick Douglass went like Moses. He went and had a conversation with then Caesar, who was in the equivalent of Caesar. And he saw himself as equal to that man. See, that's what y'all not understanding. He didn't go in there in a submissive tone. He went in there speaking for his people. And he said, if you want to win this war, you need to let the people who fighting for freedom fight for their freedom. <laughs> See, who going to fight harder for their freedom than a slave? Now, what? The, the descendants of Abraham Lincoln, what they learned was, was you can use them to fight for their freedom, but you don't have to give them the freedom that they fight for because you can give them the comfort of freedom without the reality of being free. And then all you have to do is keep the elders in the dark. See what I'm saying? Why, see, so now while I was in court negotiating, that's when I saw that somebody had already negotiated for these limitations that we call freedom. 
because when I called the negotiators, they did not come. They came to the perimeter as if they were waiting on me to be shot down. See, that's what I'm saying. Say, okay, if you got a plot, now let's look up plot, right? Because I'm in negotiating. Now, but that's when I see the plot. Now, this is um, the plan or main story as of a movie or literary work. So it's a plan, right? Or a main story. So let's look up the plan. A drawing or diagram drawn on a plane. Now let's look up plane. One of the main supporting surfaces of an airplane. See what I'm saying? Now, when you when 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 you look at their plan, see why how I am giving you legal drawings where I had to draw them out of their plan, and now I'm showing you the plot because I had a legal plan and they had an evil plot. So now don't you see why I am now revealing the plan to my elders, right? But what I'm telling my elders is, A, I'm giving you respect, but I'm an elder too. See, I'm 54 and I have children who 33, and 26, no, 27. See, so I, I don't have time to cater to a slave mentality because of your age. See, I need your understanding to fit your age. See, I need you to see yourself as a peer to my enemy. But you say that you a religious person and that you supposed to be as wise as the serpent. But if you don't see yourself as a peer to a person your age, then how can you be as wise as a serpent when you're not as wise as your peer? How about if your peer is the age of your serpent? So see, you won't, when I look at our history, right? I saw where an old man had to give up his seat to a young child. So now, how can that elder now tell me to give up my life to that child he gave up his seat to? See, this is what I'm telling the younger generation. A lot of these old cats who be talking all that militant stuff was the same ones gave up their seats. See what I'm saying? If you look at the history of those times, look at it. It wasn't that many people. If you look at it, like look at us when we when we protest now. It's black. It's white. It's in towns. Look, I mean, when the, the Nichols is, it was in Atlanta, Philadelphia, uh, New York. I mean, all over, right? Trayvon Martin. But look, in doing Dr. Martin Luther King time, it was only in Selma, Alabama. Where was, the, where was it in Chicago? See, nobody cared. See, it was just, it, they come to this little spot, just like we're doing now. But the only difference now is that we are locked down every town. It'll be four major towns shut down, right? And so... Now, that's, uh, that's destabilizing the economy because you hitting them in New York. That's, that's the mecca. That's the economic mecca. You hitting them in California. See, bro, that's, that's messing with their money, right? But now, they, they don't know what to do because they wrong. But what I'm saying to you younger people, right, if you don't write the story legal, then you will never have a community, I mean, a line of communication with humanity. See, don't worry about the God in the situation. Worry about the humanity that's missing from the situation. Now, let's look up humanity. And you will understand what I'm talking about. And then you will see that age has nothing to do with humanity. 
humanity is defined as compassionate, sympathetic, or generous behavior or disposition. The quality or state of being humane. So how can you be human if you're not humane? 